Okay, this video is going to show you how to connect your apprentice level circuit. So, we have the relay and the switch. Those are the two big components. What we're going to do is use this relay as kind of a middleman to turn on an LED. So the LED shouldn't turn on directly with the switch. It'll actually, the, the switch will cause the relay to magnetically switch the single pole double throw switch inside of it to the LED. So to do that, like we did, like we've done before, I'm going to connect my switch to the power supply. And again, I'm going to connect that top of the switch should feed into my relay and my relay so it will go through the coil and it needs a place to go so that coil will dump out into ground. All right, so if you see on the diagram, that's what it looks like. And if I press it, I can hear the relay turning on. All right, well next, I want to make sure that the relay itself is getting power. So in the diagram, my middle pin or my uh, pole of the inner inner switch actually comes in here so this is the fourth row up so that's the pole of the switch skip a row that is the first output skip a row and that's the second output so I'm gonna plug this in to make sure that I get power and I'm gonna plug that directly into source now the first output here is what's called normally closed. That means if this, uh, if this relay is off, it's, if it's not being electrified, electricity will automatically flow to this, uh, to this pin. All right, so we can actually illustrate that. If I hook my LED, into that row, so I'm going to use a resistor to protect it. I'll attach my LED over here, and I'll put it connected to ground. And if I plug it in, then what's going to happen, oop, I put it one row too high. There we go. Now, if I haven't even activated the relay, but you can see my LED turns on automatically. That's because I have it connected to the normally closed switch. Um, and I don't want that. Now if I press this button, it will turn off. But I want it so that when I press the switch, the relay turns on and it turns on the LED. So I'm actually, my correct circuit would be to connect this to the top output like that. And now it works. That's your apprentice level circuit. Your technician level circuit challenge is to add a capacitor to this circuit so that this coil charges up the capacitor. And then when the switch is released, the LED shouldn't immediately turn off. The capacitor will feed its electricity, its current, back into the coil for just a little bit of time. And that way, the circuit will stay on for just a minute after you let go of the switch. All right? Happy building.